Let's see if we can't position that right like we had it the other day. Anyway, welcome back, guys. This is Dave Blade. I am Dave Blade. I am him. I am the <laughs> Dave Blade. Anyway, welcome back. Anyway, let's not beat about the bush. It's going to be a quick one. And this is all about the PS3 Essentials. Now, hyped on about Callum at the Retro Ghetto. Was he right? Can you still get these in the wild? Yes, you can. They're getting a little bit few and far between on the shelves. But this is more of a bit of a moan up for CEX. Now, as from the other video, I got um, quite a large stack. So these were the ones that had the correct discs in, which were just a quick example. We've got FIFA Street there, as you can see there, with the essentials written on the disc. But I had half a dozen with the normal gaming. So this started off, I went to Huntingdon yesterday on the way back from the Enfield Toy Show. Um, took the game in there, which was the Force Unleashed, the Star Wars one. Uh, got into a bit of an argument with them because they said that um, they put whatever game they feel um, that they've got because it's basically the same game. And it was like, no, come on. It's got essentials on the box. On the disc, it's got essentials. I want the complete item. Uh, so yeah, had a little bit of a, the manager actually down there was pretty good. He actually just got, he just went, got the disc out, went boom, there you go, job done. So that was the false unleash there, which we now, way up, which we now have the correct disc and obviously a copy of the receipt just in there. So we've got the false unleash, we've got that back uh, from Huntingdon. And then this morning I took a big trip. Well, I went to the boot sale, but that was a complete washout. It was a nice day, uh, but it was just two rows there. I'm not going to waste um, five pound on an early bird getting in there. So we headed back up to Kings Lynn, which is where I got the majority of these PS3 essentials from. And yeah, we kind of, it was a bit hit and miss. I think they had about four or five titles where they didn't uh, have the correct game. Uh, then I got into a bit of an argument with the manager there. He said it's not uh, CEX policy to put the correct game in the correct um, case. Which I said to him, I said, well, no, I said, I know it's the same game, but the PS3 Essentials are like the completed edition. Uh, so like, that's like the best edition. That's why they've done the Essentials range. Um, so I just want the, the disc with it on to, to match it up. So anyway, the sales guy was good enough to get out all the discs and he sifted through them. And this is what we ended up with, which was this little lot here. So with the voucher for the returned ones that I didn't want, I picked up Lego Pirates of the Caribbean and we've got the right disc in there. So if you're going to go along this route and collect the PS3 Essentials, when you go to the counter, ask them to put the PS3 Essentials disc. Don't just ask. Don't just say nothing, because otherwise you'll end up like me. And then if you've travelled far, you've got to travel all the way back there. Um, which wasn't too bad, because I had a really nice breakfast in the Wimpy up there. So, yeah, not too sad. And, um, yeah, so we got Pirates of the Caribbean Lego. Before I purchased that, I said to the chat, have you got it? Yes, he found it. So we've got that one in the tank as well. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was another one. And now we have the, uh, the correct disc in there as well as the Harry Potter uh, Lego one. And we now have the correct disc. It's the, see the joy again, it's coming across the face. So yeah, and then we move on to uh, Essentials, Lego Indiana Jones 2, and we can open these up. I know that they're in there, because I've seen them. I don't care, they're in there. So yes, we've got that. Um, and then this one I thought was like, oh man, yeah, gonna luck out, but it was there, the disc was hiding. It was there. So this one, I, I did keep an eye on this one. Um, they had this copy, which I bought, and then they had three of the normal uh, versions of this. Um, so obviously it's got the four discs, and then they just pick out the first one that they see uh, and put it in. So like I say again, guys, make sure, or oh, can I have the Essentials uh, Mega Drive Collection one? And uh, lo and behold, it was in there. So the other titles that I got for, it was, they were mainly Lego ones, weren't they? Um, 
uh, in the Moto Storm uh, one. So obviously someone somewhere has got the normal case with the Essentials disc in, which is a bit, I don't know, I find that a bit odd. Now with, as we've said before, uh, PlayStation's hits, this is where I think they get a little bit confused. PlayStation hits, it's just that on the box. The game is literally the same game. Um, so that one, yeah, you don't have to pay too much attention to it. But with the essentials, I think the Platinum's like this as well, isn't it? I think the Platinum disc on the PS3, maybe the PS2 as well, has Platinum written on the disc. Um, so yeah, I took this, this was uh, Marvel Super Heroes, a Lego one again. This was Peterborough Branch, took it, the guy was just like, I said, hey mate, got the, uh, I need the essentials disc. No questions, no questions asked. That's what you want. He just went straight to the thing, found it straight in there, and we have our Marvel Lego superheroes with the receipt in there. So yeah, well, well chuffed with that. So we've got quite a uh, stack. I think I've got two more indoors, I think, unless there's some up there. Nope, there's none up there. So yeah, this is the, if I can do this without bloody dropping it. So yeah, we've got quite a nice little uh, stack of P and that's what it's supposed to look like. You know, that's what the retro ghetto was going for, the red spine. So as we said, Dave Blade on this channel, we're gonna just stick to the UK um, only releases, pretty much the only essentials that we can find in this country. As we've said, if we go abroad or anything like that, we can check out some foreign CEXs, um, bits and pieces, see what they've got. And um, so yeah, that was the PS3. We've got the PS4 coming along nicely there. I've got loads more titles, but they're they're back indoors. I think they're back in uh, in the wardrobe. Uh, I did also see this again. I'm hoping this is uh, correct, um, but I wanted to get Spider-Man Miles Morales again. I quite fancy playing it now. I played it literally after completing the first Spider-Man, and it was like a bit too much. It was a bit too samey. But we've got the disc, little uh, leaflet in there. No, um, what is it? No ultimate edition on the disc. So I'm hoping when I put this in a little bit later that it comes up with the, because this one you get the um, remastered version of the first game, which I'm not too fussed because I've already got it. Um, but yeah, so I shall be taking that one home with us. So yeah, guys, it was just a literally a warning video. Callum is right at the Retro Ghetto. There's plenty more out there to get. I've got a few more CEXs that I want to do as I'm traveling backwards and forwards from work. Um, so we've got that to check out. But just be careful. Just check the disc before you leave the shop and always ask for the PS3 Essential. I think also the PS3 Platinum as well. I think that's got the yellow ring with Platinum written across it. Um, so yeah, anyway... It was going to be a quick one. I'm just going to show you some toy pickups as well. Went to the Enfield Toy Show yesterday. I wasn't going to because I was actually supposed to be working quite close to Enfield. But because of the dreadful summer weather, it was like it literally tipped it down. So I managed to pick myself up. I keep picking these up and then I keep selling them on. Uh, might be the same case with this guy. But my old pal Johnny Nichols sorted us out this little fella. Look at that. That's pretty good. Just missing a gun, but he's got the lasso, though. The lasso, the lasso, whatever you want to call it. Uh, still on the string. Pretty good nick, actually, on there. So he had a couple of others. So if you want some, hit Johnny Nichols up. You'll find him on the, uh, on the toys team. So, yeah, picked up that little guy there. Where can we put him? We'll stick him there. Uh, Kev at the London Toy Shop. Very kindly gave me my favourite Action Force G.I. Joe figure, Beachhead. He's a bit loose, his pelvis is broke, um, but I'm just going to fix the pelvis uh, with a quite a simple fix, a little bit of Millie Putt and a little bit of a staple, and then we'll paint that up, and then I'm going to get some weapons for him. He's a bit discoloured on the elbows as well, so he's a kind of a bit of a beater figure, he's very loose. But yeah, he, he very, very kindly uh, gave that to me. So much appreciated, Kev. Go and check him out at the London Toy Shop, the London Toy Fair. Yeah, superb team. Him, Kevin and Rupert uh, do that. And then off my good pal, Mr. Darren from... Uh, oh, I've got his card here, actually. Where is it? 
Is it there? No. Oh, we are. Here it is. Hey. There it is. I come, pre I come prepared on the video. Check this guy out. This guy is a absolute ledge. Darren Zaporium. Let's get that right for him on there. Look at that. I'm going to show you the contact details. This guy buys, sells, collects, all sorts of different stuff. Darren Zaporium there. So please go and check my mate out and follow him. His YouTube channel does some great boot sale pickups from around his neck of the woods. But he very kindly had these come in that he managed to pick up. And it was one of my favourites. He's a little bit bit play worn on the hands he is a little bit play worn to be quite honest um but it comes with a belt and it's the one it's, it's the one the only the man who should have actually won the wwf title he is ted dibiase the million dollar man on there with card card back there but yeah what a figure uh, and you can see what kind of deal at 20 pound. I thought that was very, very reasonable. I've seen that belt go for 20 pound on its own. So yeah, please guys go check out Darren. Darren Zaporium. You'll catch him at the Enfield Toy Shows. Uh, you'll catch him at, I think it's the Comic Mart that's held in London, just off Russell Square. I think it's in the Novotel Hotel or something like that. You can catch him there. He's got a little unit in Sawbridge Worth in the antique centre there. Unit 72, go check that out. Uh, an absolute top, top guy. Um, and yeah, pleasure to know him. So yeah, there we go. Thanks for that, Dal. Very, very much appreciated. And then again, off of um, Mr. Johnny Nichols. Um, I picked this rather beated, rather beater. Can't talk today. I cannot talk today. I'm too sleepy after that big breakfast. But um, yeah, I picked up this, as you remember, my... Uh, pretty sort of mintish collection of these I sold to uh, Duncan, who's uh, Duncan's Toy Emporium. I think follow him as well on um, Instagram. He's on. Oh, it took me a while. I think oh, it's old age doing my name. But yeah, sold me this dude. It's low fi He's one of the harder ones to get on card. But as you can see, he's complete mashup, complete yellow. Uh, his actual things come through the back there. The card isn't too bad, in all fairness. If there was a way I could sort of uncrush this bubble, would be really good. Um, but yeah, he is um, in really, really good condition. Sorry, I'm looking outside because it was, it was like about 23 degrees just literally since the start of this video. And it is now just tipping it down. The English summer is crazy is absolutely crazy so yeah it did me a blinding deal on that and the cowboys of moon mesa you cannot be a, beat a bit of defenders of the earth so yeah he's low far the caribbean ninja but what i liked is got the weapons intact so i'll probably end up cutting this off having the figure got the card it's uh it's all good so yeah guys that was it so just be careful like i say in cex with your ps3 essentials just check that the games are the right games because they seem to have a bit of a funny policy uh, with this, which can get a bit annoying. Um, I also went online as well to check out eBay and I was checking some of the PS3 essentials on there. A lot of them on there. So be careful with that. Found some good, good games, good, good prices. Just got the normal game in it. So yeah, it's just a warning to everyone, a warning. And um, yeah, so I had a really good day yesterday. So now we've got all the games changed. We're happy with that. We've got a little eight pound voucher to spend on um, some more games when I find them in stock. I've got a few to chop in. Um, so yeah, that is about it. And that, I'm gonna leave it at that guys. Uh, and this is where we're at. Look at this, look. Holy crap. There's the Blades Beast. Look at this. No word of a lie, it was 23 degrees and that was sunshine. Literally, well, where are we at? 14 minutes ago. Unbelievable. Look at this, look. Oh, hold on. Hey, crap, it's getting wet there. I don't want to get wet. But yeah, anyway, guys, I am going to love you and leave you all. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. So warning, beware CEX.